With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students. Now let us look at the question here. So uh, in the question, we have been given a half reaction, which is ZnOH whole twice when heated. We get a compound called X, right? Now uh, for this X, we need to select the correct statement or statements for the compound X, right? So the first statement is X on heating with cobalt nitrate gives a green colored mass. Okay. So to solve this question, let us first uh, complete the reaction that is given to us. So the reaction is we have ZnOH whole twice, right? So we have Zn hydroxide. So when it is heated, we get ZnO and water is given off, right? So this is something that we get. Now this ZnO is only the compound X, okay? Which is originally, so this is white in color, right? So this is white powder that we get on, uh, you know, on heating ZnOH whole twice, right? Now let us uh, read the first statement again, which we need to verify, which says that exon heating with cobalt nitrate gives a green mass. So let us find out that what happens, whether the statement is correct or not. So the first part is, so when we have a ZnO, that is the compound X, right, heated with, uh, heated uh, in the presence of cobalt nitrate or with cobalt nitrate, it gives a green color, okay, green color uh, substance, we can say, which is called as, so this is known as Rinman's green, okay. So this is how we can say the statement that is given to us is a true statement, is a correct statement, right. Now, this Rinman's green is a mixed oxide which is used as a green pigment. Okay, so this is used as a green pigment to color sub, uh, color things, right? Now, so let uh, let me just write down the reaction for it. So we have, uh, when we have two moles of cobalt nitrate, right? When it is heated, it decomposes, it decomposed into uh, cobalt oxide and we have four moles of NO2 also that is evolved and oxygen gas comes out of it, right? When ZnO is uh, treated with cobalt oxide, we get a complex which is CO, ZnO2, right? Now, this is nothing but the cobalto zincate that we are interested in. So, cobalto zincate. Right, so cobalto zincate is only the Rinman's green, right, which is used as a, as a green color pigment. So the first statement that we have here is the correct statement, right. Now let us have a look at the second one, which says that X on heating alone becomes yellow, but turns white on cooling, right. So this statement again is a correct statement. So how we can say that? So as I've already told that ZnO is originally, it is white powder. So it is white in color, right? So it is white powder, okay? So on heating, it turns yellow, but does but it does not decomposes, okay? So when it is removed from the heat, it goes back to its original white color, okay? So on heating, it turns yellow right and why it turns yellow so it turns yellow because uh, some of the oxygen you know from zno crystal it it uh, j they just uh, you know it comes out of it in very very small fragments and due to this reason the yellow color is seen okay so it turns yellow uh, but does not decomposes Okay, it does not decomposes and when it is removed from heat,
from heat it turns white again right so this is something that that happens so when when zno is heated which is uh, you know originally which is white in color which is white powder so on heating it turns yellow but it does not decomposes and when it is uh, removed from heat it turns white again right so this is something that happens so uh, as you know having said that i can say that the second statement is also the correct statement right where x on heating alone becomes yellow and turns white on cooling now let us have a look at the uh, third statement that we have here which uh, says that solution of x in dilute hcl gives bluish white precipitate with uh, excess potassium ferrocyanide so let us examine this also so we have uh, given in the question so we have zno right which is our compound x when treated with hcl let us see what happens so zno is amphoteric in nature it it reacts with both acid and a base right so with acid it gives a salt a normal salt and water so we get a zncl2 and water is what is something that comes out of it now what happens we have to uh, you know make this reaction happen in the excess of potassium ferrocyanide so let me just take this zncl2 and make it react with potassium ferrocyanide so two moles of zncl2 is to be taken and we have k4 we have fe cn right so this is the ferrocyanide potassium ferrocyanide right and when it is heated together when when they are mixed together we get zn2 fe cn right 6 so this is something that we get and this is a precipitate that comes out and 4 moles of kcl is also something that we are going to get now this precipitate that this zinc uh, ferrocyanide that we have here zinc ferrocyanide is something that we have here is bluish white in color right so this is bluish white okay so if we have understood this then again we can say that the third statement also holds a true value right now uh, the first three statements are the correct one and last one is is not of use right so this is the incorrect one so this is how we can understand and solve this question i hope you all also understand thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today